This quick video shows three types of FreeQMS tasks as experienced by three types of users. The FreeQMS task system is not customizable and works in a consistent way. We are going to work with the audits module in this video as audit records have a record coordinator and audit activities may also have a coordinator. We will also work with the task center. Tasks is where users can view their tasks along with tasks they assign to others. First, let's confirm our user configuration by clicking the user's icon. This is a quick video, so we won't go into detail on permissions configuration, but here we have three users set up to demonstrate tasks. The first user, create user, has create, edit, view permissions to the audits module. This user will serve as our audit coordinator. This is the user we are logged in as during the demo. This user is also an administrator, but does not need to be to serve as a record coordinator. The second user, edit user, has edit, view permissions to the audits module. This user will serve as a coordinator for a pre-create audit activity. The final user, view user, has view permissions to the audits module. View only users may receive and complete tasks. Let's get to the audits module and explore tasks. Remember, we are logged in as the create user. Click create audit to make a new audit record. Here's the important part. We will choose our logged in user as the audit coordinator. Keep filling out the audit form. Let's click the Create button to finalize audit creation. We are going to use this audit record to demonstrate audit activity tasks, so we need to add at least one audit item and one audit standard. Click the Add Audit Item button. Let's enter Quality Documents. Click the Add Audit Standard button. Let's enter Australia TGA. We can see our logged in user is the coordinator of this record, but what does that mean? Let's jump on over to tasks to find out. Here's what we came for. The tasks view shows the user every task assigned to them. If you work with FreeQMS every day, this is probably your start point. These tasks include system tasks, like serving as a record coordinator or approving a record, and user assigned tasks. User assigned tasks are manually created tasks from one user to another on a specific record. Let's point out something very important. Here's our audit coordinator task. This is automatically generated by FreeQMS. Notice the task is italicized. This means it is system generated. This task was not manually created and added to a record by a user, and it does not need to be manually marked as complete. The audit coordinator task was created by FreeQMS system when we created our audit record, and it will automatically close when the audit is approved for closure. Italicized tasks remind the user that they do not need to edit and update these tasks manually. Let's look at one more way to tell the difference between a system task and a user task. We can see here this task is assigned by a coordinator, also in italics. Coordinator is not a FreeQMS user, but a system component. This is a system task to serve as a record coordinator. We can click our system generated task and voila! We're right back at our audit record. Now that we're here, we can create an audit activity for our edit user to show our next type of task. Let's click the Audit Activities tab. From here, we will click Create Audit Activity. Here's the important part. We will select our user with Edit View Permissions to the Audits module as the Audit Activity Coordinator. Simply take your time filling out this audit activity, and then we can click Create to finish creating the audit activity. Here we can see the created activity in a table format. Note the last column. Edit user is the sub-record coordinator despite not having the ability to create these records. This is useful for quality managers who are assigning tasks to subordinates where the subordinates should be able to complete the task but not create new ones on their own. This means this person received an activity coordinator task. Let's see how that looks on their end. We're going to log out of FreeQMS and log in as edit user. Here we're logged in as edit user. Let's click the audits module to start. Remember, this user has edit view permissions. That means they cannot create new audit records, but they can participate in existing ones and serve as an activity coordinator. We can see here in the upper left corner that the create button is missing. We'll click the tasks panel in the upper left corner to see our new task. 
Here we can see an italicized system generated activity coordinator task for edit user. This task was automatically created. Edit user will also receive an email notification for this. Let's click this task to jump straight to the audit record. Here we are at the audit record. Let's click the audit activities tab. Here in table format, we can see our coordinator task. For the purpose of this video, we're going to close this task. Let's click the activity to jump to the advanced view. From here, we can access and click the edit button. Now we're on the edit screen for activity. Remember, audit activities generate an automatic system task. So as soon as we close this activity, that task is going to go away. Let's mark this activity as closed and then hit the save button at the bottom of the screen. Now we're back at the activities table view. From here, we can see the activities closed. Let's click tasks in the upper left to jump back to the tasks panel and see what's changed. Now we're back at the tasks panel. We can see our italicized system generated task is closed. FreeQMS is meant to be similar to most popular table based productivity systems, such as Gmail, where closed items become grayed out and are not prominently displayed. But wait, before we go, we still need to demonstrate user created tasks. Let's click our closed task to jump back to the audit record. Now we're back to our audit record. Tasks serve as a convenient navigation mechanism even when closed. Let's select the tasks tab. Tasks is a mini task center for this record. It displays all system generated tasks like audit coordinator and activity coordinator in italics and gives the user a chance to create user generated tasks that are not predefined by FreeQMS. It's up to you to choose how you implement user created tasks in your organization. Let's click create task. We're going to give a task to our view only user to demonstrate this functionality. We'll set the assigned to as our view user. User created tasks are great for tracking activities performed by employees who do not directly or commonly participate in this area of the quality system. For example, I might need someone in engineering to confirm a detail of this audit record even though that person doesn't participate in audits normally. I'm going to enter confirm the standard being audited is correct. I will set a due date of next week and then click create. We've now created a user generated task for our view user. Before we log in as our view user, we're going to click the task center to see what an assigned task looks like. Within the task center, there are two tabs, tasks assigned to me and tasks I have assigned to others. Let's click tasks I assigned to others. Here we can see our user generated task assigned to view user. At any time, we can check the progress of our view only user by referencing the screen. This may seem minimally useful with a single task. We could just check the record or ask the person. But what if we're a manager handing out hundreds or thousands of tasks? Tasks I assign to others is a great single point for managers to manage all the actions they are issuing in the quality system. And unlike email, all tasks are permanently tracked and associated with records. Let's log out of FreeQMS and log in as view user. Now that we're logged in as view user, remember this user does not have permission to create or edit audits, but can still view and participate in user tasks. Let's click the task center to check our user generated task. Here we can see the user generated task created by our edit user. We can see a summary of the task and when it's due. Notice the user generated task is not italicized. This was created by a human and will have variable results. Let's click the user generated task to jump to the audit record. While we're here, let's pause for a moment on the information tab. This user has view only permissions to the audits module. That means the edit button is not available. Let's click the tasks tab and proceed with closing the user generated task. Here we can see our user generated task. Notice it is not italicized. Once again, we can see a summary of the requirement and a due date. Let's click the edit button at the end of the row to jump to the edit screen. Notice system generated tasks do not have an edit button. Here we are on the edit task screen. We're going to enter a resolution of standard is correct and then update the task status to closed. The moment we hit the save button, a record will be posted to this audit's electronic history log with a timestamp, including our name. This is the electronic equivalent to signing off on a field. We'll click save to save our task. Back on the tasks tab, we can see our task is now complete. Let's jump over to the task center in the upper left to see how things look from that end. Here in the task center, we can see our user generated task is closed and no longer prominently displayed. We're ready to proceed with our other work. This concludes our video series on tasks. 
We hope electronic management of tasks within quality records helps your organization to be more productive. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.